in continuation to my previous lecture that is integral of few particular functions today I am going to take up few examples how to solve integrals of a linear function upon quadratic function or linear upon square root of quadratic function or if we have a constant upon quadratic function or constant upon square root of quadratic function these are the four types which I am going to discuss today but before I take up all these four kinds of problems let us recap all four formulas which I discussed in my previous video the first formula which I discussed in my previous lecture was integral of 1 upon x square minus a square dx and the formula is this integral is equals to 1 upon 2a log of x minus a upon x plus a plus a constant. Second one is integral of 1 upon a square minus x square dx is equal to 1 upon 2a log x plus a upon a minus x plus a constant. Third one is integral of 1 upon x square plus a square which is equals to 1 upon a tan inverse x upon a plus a constant. Fourth one integral of 1 upon root x square minus a square is equal to log of x plus square root of x square minus a square plus a constant. Fifth one is integral of 1 upon root a square minus x square with respect to x is equals to sin inverse x upon a plus a constant and the last last one is integral of 1 upon root x square plus a square dx is equal to log of x plus square root of x square plus a square plus a constant of integration. On the basis of these six formulas let us discuss how to find integral of these four specific types and these are first one is constant upon quadratic function second one is integral of constant upon square root of quadratic function third one linear upon quadratic function and the fourth one is linear upon square root of quadratic let's start with the first two the first one is constant upon a quadratic function and the second one is constant upon square root of quadratic function there are certain common steps which we are going to follow in order to solve integrals of these two particular types. The first two types are integral of constant upon a quadratic function and integral of constant upon square root of a quadratic function. There are common steps which we are going to follow to solve such kind of integrals. Step number one is make coefficient of x squared equal to 1 in the denominator. And how will we make coefficient of x squared equal to 1? We will take a common in the whole term and that a can be written outside the integral sign. In case we have square root, we will get 1 upon root of a outside the integral sign. Step number 2. Once we have coefficient of x squared equal to 1, we will use completing the square method to convert the given form in the standard form. Which standard form I am referring is? The first six formulas which we discussed in the beginning and in the previous video. So these are the six forms in which I am going to convert the given integral after making the coefficient of x squared equal to 1 and completing the square. Step number three is write the solution using the direct formula in for the above mentioned standard forms we have already discussed the direct formulas for the above mentioned standard forms on the basis of these steps let us take an example and let's try to solve a question on the basis of the, the three steps which we have just discussed for example we have a question find the integral of 1 upon square root of 8 plus 3x minus 2x square so, what was step number one? Step number one was make coefficient of x square equal to one. I will take minus two common inside the square root and I will get integral of one upon square root of minus two common x square minus three by two x minus four. Now, this negative cannot be taken outside the square root because if I take negative outside the square root, it will become an imaginary number. So, what I can do is I can take only 2 outside the square root sign and 1 upon root 2 can be taken common and can be written before the integral. 
and then we'll be left with 1 upon square root of 2 integral of 1 upon root minus x square minus 3 by 2x minus 4. Now using completing the square method students we already have discussed that for completing the square method we add and subtract square of half the coefficient of x and what we are going to add and subtract is 3 by 4 square because coefficient of x was 3 by 2 and half of 3 by 2 is 3 by 4 its square has to be added and subtracted. Now completing the square we will be left with the term integral of 1 upon square root of minus common x minus 3 by 4 square minus root 73 upon 4 square. I have converted the above mentioned form in the standard form and multiplying inside the bracket with minus sign which we have we will get 1 upon root 2 integral of 1 upon square root of a square minus x square. So this is a standard form integral of 1 upon root a square minus x square which is nothing but sine inverse x upon a plus a constant. And simplifying we will get the answer 1 upon square root of 2 sine inverse of 4x minus 3 upon root 73 plus a constant of integration. Let's come to the next two types which are the first one is integral of a linear function upon a quadratic function and integral of a linear function upon square root of a quadratic function. The steps, common steps which will follow, the first one is find the derivative of quadratic function in the denominator. And let the derivative of the denominator, the quadratic function in the denominator be f dash x. Now, step number two, write the numerator in the form of k times f dash x plus c. It means I have to write numerator in the form of a constant multiplied by the derivative of denominator plus another constant. For example, we have integral of 5x minus 4 upon 2 times x square minus 5x plus c dx. In this case, denominator, derivative of denominator is 4x minus 5. It means my numerator has to be in the term of 4x minus 5. So, how will I convert? First of all, I am more concerned about the coefficient of x. The constant term doesn't matter at all because we can always add and subtract a constant. As far as coefficient of x is concerned in the numerator, it is 5. I will take 5 common in step 1. In step 2, I will multiply and divide by 4 and this is what I will get. 5 common, numerator will become x minus 4 by 5 and then multiplying and dividing by 4, I will get 4x upon 4 times uh, minus 16 upon 5. Then I have added and subtracted 5. Why I have added and subtracted 5? Because numerator has to be in the form of 4x minus 5. So minus 5 and plus 5, I added and subtracted. In next step, what we are going to do is, we will, step number 3, we will split the terms in the numerator and uh, in, and I will get two different fractions. For example, in the same, the fraction will be in the form of k times f dash x means derivative denominator upon uh, denominator dx plus constant times again 1 upon fx dx where fx is a quadratic function. Uh, instead of fx, we may have square root of fx also. Right? And uh, let's take an example. For example, continuing with the previous uh, example, uh, we got 5 upon 4 times integral of 4x minus 5 plus 9 upon 5. I will split these terms, 4x minus 5 separately and 9 minus 5 I will separate. Now, the first integral, the first integral which we have, numerator is a derivative of denominator and we know that whenever numerator is a derivative of denominator, the integral is logarithm of denominator. And the second integral which is left can easily be solved by again taking uh, two common from the denominator, completing the square and using the standard formula which I discussed uh, just few minutes back, the first two forms. So, using these four steps, we can solve any integral which is of the form linear upon quadratic function or linear upon square root of a quadratic function. Let's take an example. Let's again recap the example which we took. 
Initially, we had 5x minus 4 in the numerator and denominator 2x squared minus 5x plus 6. Derivative of denominator is 4x minus 5. So, what I'll do is, I will take 5 common in the numerator, then I'll multiply and divide by 4 in the next step, and then add and subtract 5. I got the fraction in the form of derivative of fx plus a constant. Splitting the numerator, I will get the form of f dash x upon fx plus constant upon a quadratic function. Constant upon quadratic function we have already discussed in the first two examples. So, result will be 5 upon 4 times logarithm of denominator of the first integral plus c dash where c dash is a constant of integration plus 9 upon 8 times Again, a second integral can be converted into com using completing the square method into a standard form and using a direct formula. And this is a result which we'll get. Then simplifying numerator and denominator, we'll get 5 upon 4 times logarithm of 2x squared minus 5x plus 6 plus 9 upon 2 root 23 tan inverse 4x minus 5 upon root 23 plus c. c is a constant of integration. Thank you.